Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Good morning all, myself Manju Nair, Assistant Professor CAC, uh, Satyabama Institute of Technology. <coughs> Today, we are learning about cloud computing for beginners. So, the summary is, Today we will discuss about what is cloud computing, benefits of cloud computing, types of cloud computing and cloud providers. So first of all, we will learn about what is cloud computing. So cloud computing is the on demand delivery of IT resources over the internet with pay as you go service means you will get any, any resources means uh, resources means storage power, um, computing power, databases, everything you will get it from cloud, okay, but you have to pay for that, that is called cloud computing. So, what do you mean by cloud? So, cloud is a virtual data center. So, all storage, memory, everything we will get it from internet, that is called cloud and cloud is automatically scalable and elastic compute resources. So, you can add or remove the resources anytime you want and it is you have to pay it for uh, like electricity whatever you are using you have to pay for it and you can rent computers on internet and these are virtualized service and this is simply called storage in the sky because it is cloud we are storing through internet that is why it is called storage in the sky. So, what are the benefits of cloud computing? So, main benefits are low cost, but in normal on data, on premise data centers, you have to buy all the costly equipment like servers, memory devices, network devices, everything, but here we can rent it. So, very cost compared to on premises data center, cloud data centers are very cheap. And next one is location independence. So, you can use anything from every anywhere. You can get computing power, storage, memory, everything from anywhere that is location independence. Scalability means suppose we need three instances of a computing power. So, we can after the usage we do not want it. Then we can reduce the amount of computing power or instances that is called scalability. Elasticity means automatically cloud will cut down your resources or increase your resources that is helpful for power um, cost management. And last one is security compared to on premises there is security more. Next one types of cloud computing. Cloud computing can be mainly classified according to their deployment and service. According to the deployment, cloud computing can be classified into public, hybrid, private. According to the service model, it is classified into IAS, PaaS and SaaS. So, deployment models. So, what do you mean by deployment models? The app, depending on the access, we are classified cloud computing into three. They are public, private and hybrid. So, public means in a real life example, public means when we are using bus, private bus. So, that is public bus. So, we will use public bus. This is public transport. So, it is very cheap but security is less. Like that public cloud also everyone can access the cloud that is called public cloud. Private cloud is uh, similar to own car. If you have a car, then you, you have, but cost is high, but you are secure. So, it is similar to private cloud. Private cloud is accessible only within the organization. Okay. So, that is more secure. Hybrid cloud means that is a mixture of public cloud and private cloud. For real life example, taxi, you are hiring a taxi, that is an example for hybrid cloud because it is a mix of public and private ok for more secure reason that part you can use private cloud it is more sec no need of security then you can use public cloud. So, the public cloud means allow system and services to be accessible to the general public and for example is email next one is private cloud. Private cloud allows system and services within the organization. It is more 
secure. Hybrid cloud is mixture of public and private and critical activities it will perform private and non-critical activities it will perform public and these are the main differences we already discussed this is owned by public cloud is owned by third party provider this is within the organization uh, public cloud is within the organization this is a mixture of both this one all things will be serviced by demander vendor here mixture here in an organization so next division is service model according to the service uh, cloud computing can be categorized into three infrastructure as a service that is IAS a platform as a service that is PaaS software as a service that is SaaS so in IAS you will get physical machines virtual machines virtual storage everything on red that is infrastructure this is the example for IAS go grid op source at and these are the daily example for day to day example for ias and platform as a service in this we will hire only platforms that means runtime environment real time examples are aws azure joymen rockspace salesforce these are all example for pass so software as a service here we can get all software applications through the uh, cloud so these are the example for SaaS, Google, Salesforce, Postney, Facebook, all are real time example for SaaS. And these are the things in on premises, these all things have to be provided by client or you. We have to set up all the things. But in IAS, these things, applications, data, runtime, only you have to provide other survey, storage, everything will be provided by cloud provider. In platform as a service, only you have to provide applications and data, cloud provider will provide middleware, survey, storage, everything. But in SaaS, all things should be provided by whom? Service provider or vendor. And these are the main cloud providers available in the market. Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Service, IBM Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, Oracle, Salesforce and Google Cloud Platform. Thank you.